This is the story of my great great grandpappy, Paul Stinkfinger McCartney, the splasher of brown water. It was a dark dry night, dry enough, enough to, to make, make even lizards lizard heave. heave. The moonbeams moon danced around my shell while I carved another tally into my shell wall, under the light of the dancing moonbeams. <sighs> Rusty Stink, my shellmate, a large mass of flesh and sweat, turned to me. Looks like you've been in here a while, he whispered. That's the thing about stink that everyone knows, he whispers. Suddenly, a hard metal knock rattled the bars. The sheriff, Jebediah Bush, creaned in like a vulture under the light of the dancing moonbeams. I think I have a way for you boys uh, to get out of here. I don't quite like your tone, I said, placing a rat cigarette between my teeth. The sheriff smirked, but before he could say whatever was on his mind, the door to the jail swung open. It was Deputy. He looked beat up real bad. Sheriff! He shrieked, running into our cell. This shocked Stink, who immediately bit the Deputy. The sheriff responded by a quick volley of bullets, killing both Stink and the Deputy. My, my, what happened here? The sheriff glanced over the bite mark on the Deputy, but it wasn't stinks. It was shaped mischievously. Ever seen any goblins around these spots? He inquired. My eyes widened in shock. <laughs> what? Why? I huffed. Well, we've been getting some sightings here and there. Some strange happenings and the like. What's that got to do with me? I questioned Bad Ashley. He leaned in close to my shell. You're a stink finger. Huh. Key to the goblin world, my ass. I huffed. Well, Sheriff Jeb Bush, those days are over. I hung up my goblin gun and never looked back. Well, if I can't convince you, then I'd like to see the look on those dumbass goblin faces. And they stare down the end of my cool goblin gun. But let's get this straight, said the sheriff cautiously. If you can't capture me the fresh head of at least goblin by sunrise, you going back to the slammer. I smirked. <laughs> Don't worry about it, chief. We rode until we got to a turned over carriage on the side of the road. Sheriff, look. Goblin droppings. I quickly drowned my gun. My eyes moved independently, like two hawks with one eye each hunting for their prey. I raised my pretty pistol and took a shot, striking a nearby woman. Bullseye. I shot again, and a goblin or two fell down. How do you like me now, Sheriff? I quipped at the 38-year-old man with two kids and a, a wife. What a sad little man. They ain't dead yet, son! He scoffed as the goblins called for backup. Huh? Zombies! The goblin began to laugh and join hands to form a slightly taller goblin. The sheriff shook his old piece of shit head. It's worse than I thought. They're learning. Now, if you were following the story along closely, you might think that this mega goblin was our biggest problem. If you weren't, you'd think it's a zombies, and you'd be right. The zombies freaking knew that my cool goblin pistol won't go do anything. So they also all got together and made a zombie ball. Yep, just my freaking luck, I came to myself. You take the ball, I'll take the mega goblin, one of us said to the other, and split up. I hope Stinkfinger's doing okay. I wouldn't. I died 20 minutes ago and was now part of the zombie ball. Great. I can take them from the inside. In one sudden move, I leapt out of the bar and flung my trusty propane tank inside. Well, my buddies call me Stinkfinger, but you can just call me your fatal doom. I said before missing the tank and only taking out one zombie. Shit. The zombie ball careened back towards me. I shot it again and it worked this time. The zombies began to rain down like some sort of rain flopping against the ground with a wet splat. Yuck. I was a... Yuck. 
I was about to put away my trusty gun when I noticed one of the zombies calling for reinforcements. No! Vampires! Oh shit, dude, what the fuck? Suddenly, an organized battalion of vampires swooped down on us. They quickly assembled into a vampire ball. Oh, not again. The sheriff will put me back in jail. The sheriff and I made slow motion eye contact. No one was about to happen. That's right. The sun came up. Nothing like the smell of vampire battalion sizzling away in the morning. We both cheered. Hooray! Hooray! Mighty fine shooting, son, said the sheriff. But you didn't kill the goblin. I did. It's back to jail for you. <laughs> I stared into the barrel of my gun. One bullet remained. I locked eyes with the sheriff. It all made sense now. I lifted the gun, and everyone in town gathered round to see what I was about to do. Word travels fast round these parts, but not as fast as the bullet. Within seconds, the bullet left the barrel of my gun and struck the sheriff perfectly. Suddenly, he started transforming. What's this? He grew fangs like a vampire, and a scary face like a zombie, and finally, funny green skin like a goblin. Okay guys, was that just me or was that weird? I looked around a silent crowd, and then looked back at the sheriff to see that he was just a regular human this whole time. Just then a crazy lizard showed up and dragged his body away. What are we going to do without a sheriff? Exclaimed a character too unimportant to draw. I looked down at the bloody badge on the ground. 